Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Observation. At the moment, we need to find the absent Captain Jim Elias, who is somewhere in the Russian arm of the of the space station, and I suspect he's down here in RUS 06, but we have no camera access to that module. So we're either going to have to get a glimpse in somehow, or we're going to have to figure out, is this? No, that's a log. Shit. Uh, we're going to have to figure out... Oh, that's RU6. Maybe this the will get it back online. in RU6 are failing to initialize. Okay, I can do that now, actually. Cool, I think this is gonna work. That's them online. Oh, and Jim is dead. Or very sleepy. Captain Jim Elias is located in RUS 6. We should be able to access the Russian arm now. Jim, it's Emma. I have your location. I'm heading to you now. Definitely do not have this pin. I think this is the second or third laptop uh, locked by a pin code that we've come across. Haven't had any cause to break into the others yet. Let's try to track Emma. I think she's already at the, at the junction point between two of these modules. Uh, yeah, she's on her way. I don't know where the transition in the ship is. Oh, in the meantime, we can appreciate all of these really nice cameras and these super, I would assume, expensive telephoto lenses that I'm deeply, deeply envious of. Sam, wow. I can't get in. The hatch control is damaged. Oh. Oh, yeah. I didn't even pay any... Let me think. Any mind to this? Get in and open this hatch from the other side. We have the schematic for RU now, don't we? The schematic for the Russian hatches is on the laptop. Oh, Hurry, no. Sam. Oh, cool. It's 9338. It's upside down. 9338. No, what is it? Was it uh, EAS and UN? that we have the schematics for? Whatever happens next, thank you. All of you. I don't mean to be cryptic. Sorry. Oh, Jim absolutely knew something. So at least some of the crew had some advanced knowledge that this was going to go wrong. That this was doomed from the start. This is an ISS analog, but it's feeling like some sinister Wayland yutani nonsense. So, L3, hatch unlock for Russian unit. That starts here. One over, down, left. Two, three, four. Is it five? Oh, I think I counted too many. I think it's four. Two, three. Okay. Over, down, over, down. Uh, yeah. Suggestions? 
I'll get Sam out to you. He can wirelessly connect. There's another sphere in RUSO2 next to the airlock. Use that. Oh, a new sphere buddy. Yeah, I think we noticed this one before. Cool. So this one's active. I assume it has our our upgrades. They were firmware upgrades. And what about this? The response to Elsa. I am sorry, Elsa, but I cannot help with the survey data. The captain has all my time. He's even broken protocol to delay my sleep cycle for some space janitor duties. Watching dials, running checks, backing up transmission data for a full five hours. All while Sam does the very same, of course. I don't know why he's got us scheduled like this. We're all on different sleep arrangements and we barely get time to work together. This isn't how we normally do things, if you are wondering. I'm sure future missions will feel a little less isolated from one another. If you need anything, just shout. Message ends. Okay. So Jim is breaking protocol. Uh, he's isolating the crew from one another, which is deeply suspicious. Uh, and he's having them perform duties that are redundant to what Sam is supposed to be doing. Which tells me that he was... Get out here, Sam. I'm outside the Chinese arm. Give me a hand. Certain, or at least reasonably, convinced that something would happen to Sam if he didn't intentionally sabotage Sam himself. Or he had some reason to believe Sam okay, would become Sam. unreliable. I'm patched into your sphere feed now. She should be able to link to the sphere and hear us. Okay, I have to do a better job navigating the skeleton of this station this time. So slowly and carefully and with maximum observation. Speaking of, I think I oh see my her. God, Sam, that's her. Is she okay? She's moving. What the fuck? Uh, that. Mm. I know there is a way of resetting them out here, but I'm not sure how I need stars. May, I'll send Sam to reset the hull contact points. I had the same issue in the EAS arm. If he can fix them, you can head back inside instead of having to move around all the way to the EAS airlock. Okay, Sam, reset the hull contact points between China and Universal, please. Oh god, the contact point. Hunt. Again. Okay. We'll just take this slowly. I don't know what storms on Saturn are supposed to be like. I don't know that much about Saturn. I'm sure we have some amateur or even professional astronomers in the chat, though. Or just some hobbyist solar system buffs. Cool, we found it really quick this time. Oh, I'm happy about that. Tell me all about Saturn. Okay, it doesn't look like this minigame has changed since the last time we went and took a spacewalk. It's one comforting constant right now. Good work. Get back to May so I can update her. She should be able to access Shenzo again. Oh, she's gonna be fucking gone. Vanished without a trace. Okay, so I can orient myself based on where the storm is. Because that's, for me, a better landmark than anything on the station itself. Ah, there. Is she moving? 
Is she dead? Holy shit. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. May, Sam sorted it out. You can get back inside and meet me in Universal now. Okay, okay. I much prefer that option. Sam seems to think. May? The storm. You're breaking up. I'm heading back to CN3. I'll be with you soon. Sam, you're seeing this. May? Get back inside now. The storm on the planet is... Jesus Christ. Hey, Sam, I got you in another sphere. I don't know what just happened, but I feel... I feel like I've changed. And that's not the only thing to have changed. Take a look. Someone is coming to get us, Sam. Wow, it's just one thing after another. Holy hell. I'm not sure how much of this I can take. They're just hanging there. Well, UC2 is pressurizing just now. Let's try to contact them in the meantime. Assuming they aren't all dead. Look, I know this makes no sense. And you'll probably just give me some broken response. But I'm glad you're here, Sam. Yes, I'm glad I'm here, too. <laughs> She's unfazed by all of this. Like, who are they? I am here, Emma. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you are, aren't you? How did they get out here? One more time, Sam. Voice authenticate. How did they get out here? Who are they? Emma Fisher. One four zero four one two. They that station looks really off. Did they cause all of this? Oh my god, this game is so good. some work to do if we want to speak to anyone. External comms looks good, but the array is facing the wrong way. So, looks like to get a signal out, we are going to need two things. First, we need to adjust the array to target the other station's relative position from ours. And the astrophysics lab may have some answer to that. Secondly, our broadcasts won't go anywhere without the captain's authorization code. I'm guessing we can find that in his personal module, EAS-7. Let me know what the authorization code is so that I can enter it into the system. You will need to set up the comms array yourself, though. If there are any new station alerts, be sure to let me know. I may be able to action some repairs now. Okay, so I think we should probably start with checking the station alerts, since she mentioned it. This the cameras is... in RU6 are failing to initialize. Wait, what? We already solved that one. Oh, there we go. Huh. Emma, my cameras in EAS7 have failed to initialize. Weird. Maybe Jim turned them off. 
Okay, so EAS-07 was the captain's quarters, the captain's module. Should be fixed. Try them now. Where we were to go to get the authorization code. Okay, I think here is where we're going to end it for today. Uh, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, do stuff in the doobly-doo. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.